Come on along. We're going to go over here. I just got done. Just got done. Taking all the crap off of there. All that iron they put on there to keep that together. Yeah, look at you can see how much how raised up that is. What I'm finding underneath. Crackage, crackage. That's a welded up. It's a crackage all the way through. So there was some kind of an event that happened. And uh, even here, yuck, look yonder. Look at that. Can you see that? I can see right through there. Now why wouldn't you fix that? Why wouldn't you fix the original crack? Not just well a little bit here and there. You gob some shit over the top. I'm starting to swear a lot, ain't I? Sorry. Here too, here's another one. Look at that. Peel it open. Fix it. Fix it. And I'm trying to determine there's a I gotta what this is here, if that's part of a weld from the outside in. There's a crack in this way. Here's definitely a crack going down, or it was actually filled in. Some here. Of course, that stuff was been done. But I got to come up with a plan, and I got to do it in a hurry and get this done. So, I have a problem, though. It's the color of my hat. No, not really. The problem is... I do that a lot, you know. Come on over here. Let's see where this one was made. Ooh, this is an original. Ma Weasel made this hat. She had a dress like this. Because she had a, a bird, a parrot. What the hell is a parrot's name? Anyways. The parrot would sit on the bar stools. They had high back chairs and the parrot would come rocking around and bite you. <laughs> And it would say, Fluffy, Cheetah, and were our dog's names, I think. She was quite the woman. Anyway, so here's what's going on for Sunday. I had that parked outside all day and carbon arcing away, and we got, I don't know, another seven, six, seven, five inches coming down, and this stuff. Don't you whittle and let it and then I got a call this afternoon, right in the, I was just got back from lunch and I got a phone call or my dad came out here because my phone was on the table and I was working. And uh, we had to go pull the guy out, a logger. He was stuck in the snow in the woods. He was plowing so they could get their wood out of the woods that they left there a month ago. And it is what it is, but we went and helped them out, me and the kid, we took old the old blue truck there and he was out plowing where they left one load or a load and a half of wood and uh, trying to get through there with his GMC and he got stuck but old Ford an old Ford got her out no problem and we hung around until he got through he just yeah he, he got off his trail his original trail anyway so here's the bad news about this whole day I got I had I got done what I got done because you know what that miller there has got to come off of this truck tomorrow morning and it's got to go either into that blue truck or it's going to get parked on a pallet so I can continue to work on that with the carbonar because that's my that's my source for the direct current wide open bleh. because lo and behold my old baby here. And look at welding is a passion, and I am very passionate. Um, the old 99 and a half. She just don't want to move no more much. Nope. She is. Uh, I barely got it in here. She's going in tomorrow morning to get some surgery done on her. She's going to have a. 
full call it a call it call it call it contrast transmission replacement she started slipping on me I don't know a couple of months ago and I knew it was coming and the boys you know they rod the hell out of it because it's a Ford and you can do that and get away with it till now no it's got 380,000 on it it's gonna be the second this will be the original this transmission I had rebuilt back at 250 so it's got a hundred and thirty thousand miles on it so I think that's pretty good it, I don't know if it's a torque converter or what it is but we gotta clean the damn truck out so it can go down and fit on the, my buddy's lift down there at the garage and then uh, hopefully the guy who rebuilt it years ago has one on the shelf that we can just do a one day in next day have her back I hope he's got one I think it's a 4R100 they're pretty common but then again these trucks are starting to get pretty pretty old you know so that's what I know you with me on that alright so enough of that crap maybe I'll have to have him put it in the Super Duty Bolters shift kit. No, I don't know what the hell they do. I'm not a transmission guy unless it's in a Ponzi or a, something like that. Then we can fix them with these automatics. I did call Ford. They want almost $4,500 for one. Factory remand. Three year warranty. Or one year. I don't remember. So, at any rate. So I got this thing over the drain. It's snowing like a banshee outside. I got this one parked over here because I had to go rescue that one. Otherwise it was dry as a popcorn fart all day and all weekend since the last snowstorm and I was not gonna move it and then I had to. And I only got one drain in this shop. And uh, dad's gonna come get his plow probably around midnight. So I gotta come back out here after, I don't know, a couple, three hours and let that thing rearrange everything again so he can get at his plow. That's all I know. We will talk at you next time, okay guys? Thanks for watching and we'll stay tuned for that project at Rear Frame and we'll bid you farewell. Alright, see ya. Bye!